God lets the heart break not to destroy it, but to make space for a deeper love to dwell. Elias of the Quiet Path What if the secret to slowing aging, sharpening your mind, and renewing your cells wasn't hidden in a pill, a supplement, or a long, painful fast, but in the air you're breathing right now? A quiet revolution is unfolding inside MIT's neuroscience labs. Researchers there have found something astonishing, that a specific breathing rhythm, done for just 7 minutes, can trigger the same cellular cleanup process that fasting activates after days without food. No hunger. No deprivation. No special equipment. Just breath. They call it the fasting breath. And in the next few moments, you'll discover how something as ordinary as oxygen can awaken one of the most extraordinary forces of healing inside your body. Every cell in your body is alive with purpose. Each one builds, breaks, cleans, and renews itself thousands of times every day. But like any home, your cells gather clutter, damaged proteins, worn out mitochondria, bits of molecular waste. When that waste isn't cleaned out, it slows everything down. You feel foggy, tired, sluggish. Your body's rhythm feels just a little off. That's where a natural process called autophagy comes in. The word comes from Greek auto, meaning self, and phagy, meaning to eat. Literally, self-eating. It sounds grim, but it's one of the most beautiful survival instincts you have. Autophagy is your body's way of recycling. It's how cells clear debris, heal damage, and renew themselves from the inside out. When autophagy is active, you're younger at the cellular level. When it's not, waste accumulates, leading to inflammation, brain fog, fatigue, and accelerated aging. The challenge is that modern life constantly shuts this system down. We snack late. We breathe shallowly. We live in a state of constant stimulation. Our bodies think we're always fed, not just with food, but with stress, information, and tension. That means our cells never get the signal to stop building and start cleaning. It's like a city that never sleeps, lights always on, machinery always running, garbage trucks never coming. Over time, that buildup shows up in how you feel, slower focus, restless sleep, weakened immunity, and even subtle mood dips you can't explain. This is why fasting became such a powerful discovery. When you fast, you create short periods of scarcity that tell your body, it's time to clean up. Autophagy switches on. Cells repair themselves. Inflammation drops. But the problem? Fasting is hard. Hunger, headaches, fatigue, most people quit long before autophagy fully activates. That's what inspired a handful of MIT and Stanford researchers to look for another way, a simpler, more natural signal that could activate the same process. And what they found, began with the breath. When we think of breathing, we imagine something automatic, in, out, repeat. But the way we breathe tells our body what to prioritize, survival, healing, or growth. Breathing too fast, too shallow, or too often keeps us in a constant low-level stress state, the exact opposite of what triggers autophagy. In 2019, studies on the Wim Hof method showed that controlled breathing can influence cellular metabolism in ways once thought impossible. By deliberately balancing oxygen and carbon dioxide, participants activated AMPK, the same enzyme that fasting turns on. They lowered inflammation and improved mitochondrial function, all without changing their diet. The data caught the attention of MIT's synthetic biology department. They wondered, if breath could tweak metabolism, could it also flip the autophagy switch? After years of experiments, they found it could. In controlled trials, subjects practicing a specific rhythmic breathing pattern showed the same biological markers as people who had been fasting for three full days. Ketone levels rose. MTOR, the cellular growth signal, dropped. AMPK activity spiked. And autophagy-related genes switched on. What was happening was clear, by changing the chemistry of the breath, 
participants were tricking their cells into believing oxygen was scarce. And the cells responded by cleaning house. It turns out, this wasn't a new discovery, just a forgotten one. Centuries before Western science had words like autophagy or AMPK, Himalayan monks were already experimenting with what they called tummo, or inner fire breathing. In freezing mountain caves, they used powerful rhythmic breathing to generate internal warmth, clarity, and energy. Modern scientists later discovered that this fire wasn't mystical, it was metabolic. The monks were practicing mild, controlled hypoxia, temporarily reducing oxygen intake just enough to signal cellular cleanup. In other words, they were fasting with their breath. The principle is beautifully simple. When you fast, your body thinks food is scarce, so it conserves energy and starts recycling old material. When you use the fasting breath, your body thinks oxygen is scarce, so it responds in the exact same way, activating cleanup, recycling waste, and renewing energy. Same process, different trigger. The fasting breath offers the benefits of fasting without hunger or fatigue. And it works remarkably quickly, sometimes within minutes. Let's walk through the method. Find a quiet place where you can sit comfortably. Relax your body and close your eyes. Start by exhaling fully, letting all the stale air leave your lungs. Then hold that pause for just a few seconds. That gentle feeling of air hunger isn't danger, it's communication. It tells your body CO2 is rising, which triggers a deep biochemical shift. Then inhale slowly through your nose for a count of five. Hold that breath for five. Now exhale through your nose for a count of ten, twice as long as your inhale. This extended exhale is the key. It raises carbon dioxide slightly, improves oxygen delivery, and stimulates the same metabolic sensors that fasting does. Repeat that pattern, inhale for 5, hold for 5, exhale for 10, for several minutes. You'll begin to feel your heartbeat slow, your thoughts quiet, and a warmth spread through your body. After your final exhale, hold your breath out gently, not forcing, just letting the body rest in stillness for as long as feels comfortable. When you finally inhale again, do it softly and smoothly. You've just completed one round. What's happening inside you is extraordinary. Your cells have switched from consuming energy to conserving and renewing it. Autophagy begins. Practice this once or twice a day, ideally in the morning or a few hours after eating, and within a few weeks, your body begins to relearn this rhythm naturally. As the days pass, subtle changes appear. Your energy feels smoother, more stable. Your brain fog begins to clear. You recover faster after stress or exertion. These are the fingerprints of renewed cellular balance. After three weeks of daily practice, research suggests that autophagy efficiency can rise by nearly 20%. That's like gaining back years of cellular youth, without changing a single meal. But the real magic of the fasting breath isn't just physical. When Japanese researchers studied the monks who practiced this breathing for decades, they found something astonishing. Autophagy wasn't happening randomly, it was selective. The brain was pruning away damaged or negative neural pathways while strengthening those tied to focus, peace, and gratitude. In simple terms, what you think about during the breath determines what your brain keeps. So if you focus on calm, clarity, or gratitude, your brain literally builds those states into your wiring, while releasing what no longer serves you. It's like cleaning a house and deciding what memories, habits, and thoughts you want to keep in it. The monks understood this intuitively. Science is just beginning to prove it. And that's what makes this practice so profound. It's not about holding your breath or chasing mystical states. It's about teaching your body, and your mind, to return to the rhythm it was designed for. Seven minutes of focused breathing can do what diets, supplements, and stress can't. It gives your body space to repair itself. Your breath becomes a bridge between biology and consciousness, between science and spirit. Imagine waking up tomorrow and beginning your day not with a rush, but with presence. 
You sit quietly. You close your eyes. You breathe in, and the world slows down. You're not trying to force change. You're allowing it. Every exhale carries away what your body no longer needs. Every inhale invites renewal. With time, you notice that calm isn't something you chase anymore, it's something that grows in you. Your breath becomes both the anchor and the signal. Your body remembers how to heal. Now, take a moment to reflect. If this message resonated, if it stirred something inside you, a sense of curiosity, hope, or calm, take one small action before you leave. Leave a like on this video. It tells the YouTube algorithm that peace and science matter more than noise. Subscribe to the channel if you want to explore more truths hidden between ancient wisdom and modern research. We'll keep uncovering them, together, at a gentle pace that respects your time and your soul. And share this video with someone who's been searching for renewal, a friend, a parent, a loved one who's been struggling to find balance or energy again. Because sometimes, one breath, one piece of insight, can change an entire life. Your support helps this message reach others who need it most. And who knows, you might be the reason someone else finally takes their first deep, healing breath today. So tomorrow morning, before the world wakes up, sit quietly and try the 7 minute fasting breath. No pressure. No expectations. Just presence. Breathe slowly. Feel the warmth build. Notice your thoughts softening, your heartbeat slowing, your mind clearing. That's your body remembering. That's the quiet intelligence that's been inside you all along, waiting to be awakened. Autophagy isn't a scientific miracle. It's your birthright. The ancient monks didn't invent it. The scientists didn't create it. They both rediscovered something that was always there, the intelligence of life itself. So take a slow inhale. Exhale completely. And remember, renewal isn't somewhere outside you. It's right here, in the very breath you're taking now. Because sometimes, the most powerful medicine, is simply learning how to breathe again.